New York City's migrant crisis continues to worsen. In total, more than 65,000 migrants have been bused here and more than 4,300 last week alone. And they can't begin even to look for work until they apply for political asylum. Pix them is McGee Hickey, live for us right now on the Upper East Side with more on the migrants' journey and the services being offered to them today at the Met of all places. Hi there, McGee. Hi there, Kaida. Yes, it's quite an interesting partnership between the Metropolitan Museum of Art and a group called Project Russo, a nonprofit that works with migrants. So while the children of migrants were busy making art projects in one room, the parents were learning about the asylum declaration process. While the children of migrants made toy airplanes and boats at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, their parents were beginning the difficult and often painful process to seek asylum. These families are from Venezuela and Colombia, Afghanistan, and West African countries. This asylum declaration workshop was created by the nonprofit Project Russo. The reason we are so grateful to be hosting this in the Metropolitan Museum of Art today is because writing the declaration while being one of the most important parts of the asylum seeking process is also often one of the most traumatic. Sucedieron muchas cosas, incluso mis hermanos fueron llevados a prisión. Argelia Jimenez fled Venezuela with her two daughters, her nephew and her brother. She says the family was engaged in peaceful protests of the Venezuelan government and then faced persecution. Right. They were branded as people that were opposed to the government. Her brothers were also taken to jail because of their peaceful protests. Working with pro bono lawyers volunteering for Project Russo, these families are just beginning what is usually a very lengthy process. It can take many months and even years. So as we see some of the 65,000 asylum seekers being bused to New New York City, this is just the beginning. Their journey will take years from here to ensure that they are free from the persecution that they were escaping from. The kids have been great. They've just been well entertained here with the resources from the Met and overall with the very cohesive team from both Project Russo and the Met. Um, I think things have been going pretty well. And Project Russo is always looking for more volunteers, particularly lawyers, particularly people who speak Dari, because they're getting so many refugees from Afghanistan. If you'd be interested in volunteering, you can find out more about the opportunities. You can go to our website, pix11.com. We are live in front of the Metropolitan Museum of Art on the Upper East Side. McGee Hickey, Pix11 News. Back to you, Katie.